So people often ask me when to wet shave because I use a lot of techniques. Um, and this is the kind of coat that I would wet shave. So obviously he's wet <laughs> and I'm shaving him. But the reason that I will shave this kind of coat is because the hair has enough separation in it where I can see the skin. So I know that I've gotten the skin clean under the mats. But also this is going to stretch a little bit and I'm going to be able to get a four blade under it um, which when then when dried and, and fluffed out I can finish with a two guard versus having to maybe do a five if I tried to dry this out. Um, and this is too extensive all over his body for me to try and blow dry it out. So this is going to this is saving me time and some of the hair. Um, but this is this is what you want when you're wet shaving. You want plenty of separation in between the mats. Like this dog looks like he would almost cord if we let him. Um, you don't want like big clumps because then you're not getting the skin clean underneath. Uh, you want to be able to get the hair clean and the skin. That's the most important part. See how easy it's coming off? It's just coming right, right off. There you go. And then the last step in wet shaving is when you're done, you want to blow your blade out with um, your HV pack or your HV dryer rather. And then you want to definitely oil it or even better if you have something what I have, which is my ultrasound cleaner. And this is H42 in there. I'll blow my blade out. I will put it in there, I will run a cycle of the ultrasonic, and then I will oil it and put it away. You never want to put a blade that has water and wet hair stuff between the teeth back in your drawer. That's guaranteed to rust.